Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Toys Power CT005 1 6 scale Liam Neeson as Jimmy Conlon from Run All Night. Click the link in the description below to head on over to the Toys Power website for all the details on how to order this figure. So thanks to the guys at Toys Power for sending me this to review and to be honest um, when they contacted me I hadn't even heard of uh, Liam Neeson's movie uh, Run All Night when they showed me pictures of the figure I actually thought it was uh, meant to be from the series Taken uh, but uh, apparently he was in this movie Run All Night uh, which um, just uh, looks like um, him and his son running away from a whole bunch of crime bosses I think um, I did a quick look at some user <laughs> reviews on IMDB and by all accounts it's a pretty good action movie so um, I'll probably try and catch it uh, during the Christmas holidays or something like that uh, but uh, Apparently it's pretty good, um, but I'll give you a quick rundown of the figure. I'll just move him out of the way. I have reviewed previously the Toys Power um, V from uh, the uh, V for Vendetta movie, um, and also their uh, Chinese sort of uh, history figures um, from the series of UFA, um, and they were all pretty good. Uh, the tailoring um, and the scale and uh, the accessories were all uh, pretty outstanding on, on those figures, so um, hopefully uh, we see uh, what these are like um, for this particular release. Uh, the box is uh, pretty uh, stock standard, uh, not to the sort of same sort of artistic style as um, the previous boxes they've had, um, but uh, run all night there on the front um, and all nicely uh, foamed out inside uh, to house the figure. Uh, accessories wise, it does come with this uh, base, uh, which is your sort of standard 1 6 scale figure base. Now the nameplate here I'm not uh, too sure about, um, now I'm assuming it's something from the movie and if it's his signature or something I assume, um, but um, I'm not quite sure about that, but uh, it is nicely gold plated so um, it does look uh, pretty nice. Uh, for the accessories, I mean this is where I really do think um, Toys Power excels as uh, most of the, the smaller sort of um, uh, 1 6 scale manufacturers do excel in that uh, the accessories are pretty uh, pretty high quality. Uh, this is full metal, um, so it's all die cast in there, I believe, um, and it's uh, pretty nicely done. The sort of bullet casing area does fold out, I think. I won't force that out too much, but you can sort of see the, the bullets in there, and the hilt there is pretty nicely detailed too, so I do like the, the weight and feel of that. Uh, it comes with a shotgun, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, not too much weathering on it, but uh, the wood grain and so on is is nicely painted and detailed there. Not sure if there's any other sort of moving parts to this, um, but uh, there could be. I'm just not sure if I want to try and break anything here. But um, overall, uh, a pretty good accessory. Um, the three other metal accessories um, are the uh, electronics I believe so here if I can actually focus is uh, what looks to be a mobile phone and um, it even has uh, Nokia on it so I'm not sure how old this movie is I didn't think the movie was that old it was only fairly recently so I'm not sure why the character is holding such a an ancient brick of a Nokia <laughs> But um, this is metal, um, and it does feel pretty nice. Um, and I guess it is chunky, uh, just like the Nokia's were. Um, it also comes with um, what looks to be a voice recorder of some sort, or a tape deck or voice recorder, Olympus. It's a nice little writing there, and then it comes with. Uh, I'm not sure what these is. Is this a headphone case or something like that? Um, I don't think they're speakers. <laughs> so it could be a headphone case or something like that with uh, Sony written on it. And again, that's all metal as well. So uh, fairly nicely done. The last round of accessories are the group of hand sculpts. So he comes with uh, two fists um, by default. Uh, but he comes with uh, a couple of relaxed hands here. Um, I guess I have to say the there's not too much paint application on them that I can see to be honest. So I'm not sure if it's just um, cast in this uh, flesh coloured plastic. Um, so it would have been nice if um, there was a bit of paint detail in the fingers and the veins and so on. 
so it, they, they do look a little bit uh, flat and plasticky uh, which is a shame because uh, the mold itself um, is uh, pretty decent so they're the two on the sides there and he then comes with um, what I assume to be the gun holding hand um, which again is a little bit flat some extra detail on the the molding there with the veins and so on but um, a bit of color variation would have been a bit better and this is another probably the phone holding hand or something like that so um, they got all the the bases covered to um, hold the accessories and so on so I'll uh, grab the figure and uh, give you guys a closer look at that alright so here's the figure up close I forgot to mention before if you click the link in the description um, of the video you'll head straight over to their website and you'll see that the uh, retail price for this figure is about hundred and fifteen dollars uh, which uh, is about half the price of um, all the hot toys and sideshow figures that are coming out these days so um, it's very competitively priced um, but I'll go through uh, the figure and the uh, the outfit and so on um, and give you an indication on uh, where I see it sort of fits in that uh, bang for buck um, at $115 um, but we'll get on to the head sculpt now the head sculpt itself I wouldn't say that the likeness is uh, 100% um, but uh, from certain angles it looks um, a lot better I think from front on um, it doesn't really um, have that greater likeness but from the side um, and maybe even from from below um, it looks much better and much more like uh, Liam Neeson and Liam Neeson is uh, getting on in the years he's uh, 65 or something like that and so he did look quite a bit older in the movie and this sculpt uh, does reflect that um, but overall, it's not too bad. I think um, where it does excel, and where I think it even beats out um, Sideshow, is in the facial paint app. And what I always sort of look for in a facial paint app is that sort of realism. Um, you know, I, I go by what uh, the, those three, uh, the three pillars of a head sculptor from um, uh, Michael Crawford. Uh, pretty much the likeness, the realism, and the third I can't quite remember. Um, but uh, with the realism uh, I think they've really done a great job on the skin texture and the uh, just that sort of freckling and the skin tone so Sideshow have a really bad habit of making their um, head sculpts uh, look far too dark uh, the pain application is um, way too tan um, much like uh, the Django and even the Hoth Luke and Han in comparison they look uh, like they've been in the Sun way too long but this one here because it's a bit lighter you get to see a bit more of the variation in um, you know the five o'clock shadow uh, a bit of the rosy cheeks there and just some of the 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 extra detailing around the the chin and so on and the neckline so I think they've done a really good job there um, I've also I also think they've done a pretty good job on the eyes as well um, this was another area where Hot Toys pretty much sets the standard with um, their glassy eyes. If you have a look at some of the reflective there, reflections, I think uh, Toys Power have done a pretty good job on that as well. So if you get up close, you can really get to see a lot of that sort of freckling that um, really, really brings out the realism um, when you look at it from, a, from a, like a normal viewing distance. And that's one area where I think Sideshow really does need to improve um, on their head sculpts. Uh, for the hair, I do love the, the sort of fine uh, detailing in the mold. It does look very realistic. Um, and the paint application does seem to have its, um, you know, the odd sort of streak of grey and so on uh, to give it that bit of realism and uh, show that he is getting a bit on in, in the years. So overall, I would say that the head sculpt is uh, pretty damn good. Um, just uh, lacking a little bit in the, uh, the likeness stakes um, for, for Liam Neeson. Uh, so on to the outfit. Um, with uh, their previous figures that uh, I've reviewed um, where they've really excelled is in the tailoring um, some of their their Chinese sort of costumes in the, the UFA line and even with the V um, it was really really outstanding um, on the, the on the tailoring for here I wouldn't say the tailoring is as good um, and uh, I'll just go through a little bit of why that is I think the jacket here it's like a, a sort of fake leather 
jacket. It's weathered quite nicely. Um, it's probably not coming up on uh, the screen too well. Um, when I first took it out, it looked like it was almost overly weathered um, in that a lot of the, the sort of coating on the jacket has been sort of cracked off. Um, so it does look a little bit too weathered. Um, but uh, after a while, um, you sort of get used to the, the look of it and the feel of it is actually uh, quite nice. It's like a soft sort of, not so much suede, but um, a nice sort of, uh, I can't even really describe it. It's a nice sort of a soft uh, felt sort of touch to it. So it's not quite like um, fake leather, um, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. It, uh, the tailoring, the fit of it is probably a bit too baggy or too uh, puffy in the shoulder area. Um, and it sort of does get a bit tight around the arms, but um, overall um, it's not too bad, particularly with um, you know the, the pockets here, which do flip up, and the buttons and so on. I do like that the buttons are uh, essentially clipped all the way through, so you can see the, the back of the buttons there, so they go straight through the material, um, and so they're not just glued on. A lot of the time the Hot Toys figures with buttons like this are pretty much just glued on, and uh, they pop off really easily and you have to glue them back on so uh, I like the quality there uh, it looks like a functioning zip here as well um, so yeah you can bring that up and down um, and I'm not sure how tight that fit is but uh, I'm not going to try it but uh, I'm not sure how good it would look with the uh, the, the jacket zipped up um, I think it probably would look a bit better uh, with uh, the jacket open showing his uh, little sweater inside there um, but overall, um, I do like uh, the detail that they've gone through there. The inside of the jacket's um, sort of a Parker-ish type of material, which is uh, quite nice. Um, so overall, uh, not too bad with the jacket. Um, if it just sort of sat a bit better on the body, um, that might uh, give it a better look. But uh, overall, the material and so on is uh, pretty good. Um, the inside is uh, like he's got a bit of a sweater going on there. Um, there's nothing underneath that that I can see apart from the base body um, but again this is a nice sort of uh, soft uh, flexible material it's very similar to um, some of the uh, the shirts that are worn by some of the Hot Toys figures like um, I think uh, the T1 uh, T800 has a very similar sort of uh, top to it and you can sort of pull it down and, and make it flexible on, on how you want to uh, lay the jacket uh, the, the sweater there on the back pretty much the same bit of detail on the jeans there the jeans are probably the best uh, tailored part of the figure um, so I'll just lift this up a little bit and show you a bit of the detail so it does come with a uh, essentially a functioning belt so that's um, a fake leather belt through the um, the buckles there um, I think uh, that could be a metal buckle not sure but it does look pretty good and it extends all the way around the back there so I'm not going to try and take that belt off, but it does look pretty good. And on the jeans here, it's like a black um, denim material that um, feels like denim, but it's actually quite uh, flexible as well. So it has a, a bit of play to it, um, and the tailoring is quite nice. I can't really see the, the seam lines too much. With some uh, figures, you can really see the stitching, uh, but the stitching lines here are actually really, really good. Um, so you can see the, the fly area there and the patching and so on on the, the back pockets here is uh, quite good. So I like the, uh, the level of detail in the patching. Nothing too big. That sort of throws off the scale. Um, so overall it looks uh, really nicely done. Um, not too much weathering or anything like that, but uh, it has uh, uh, this sort of grey sort of speckled effect through the jeans that uh, give it a nice um, sort of look to it. So even the hem here looks pretty good. So overall the tailoring in the jeans and the look um, is very very nicely done. Now the boots here, um, I think they're just on ball joints. Um, the boots themselves don't articulate, uh, they're pretty much hard plastic. Uh, but the, uh, the ankle joint there does give him a bit of uh, ankle movement which is uh, pretty good overall. The boots, not too much weathering or, or paint detail, everything sort of brownish um, so I guess it would have been nice if they had a bit more detail in the uh, the laces and so on. 
um, but uh, even the soles have got uh, some nice details so I'm um, not too bad but uh, that's pretty much it and I just noticed uh, on his wrist here uh, he's got a watch so I'm not sure if that's uh, metal and I think it is a metal watch uh, so a bit of nice uh, detailing there so that looks pretty good um, but the articulation I can go through that as well he's got uh, there's no sort of a neck joint um, or head joint at uh, at the neckline so it's just a full piece uh, up to the neck area and there is a joint down there so lots of uh, movement there and you can turn and so on so uh, not too much uh, of an issue with the, the head area the body does come with the ab crunch which is pretty good and the turn which is pretty good so you can go, get lots of action there and his arms go out pretty nicely it's not restricted by the suit at all and he's got double jointed elbows um, so that's uh, pretty good too um, where he's probably most restricted is in the legs so I don't know if you want to stretch the jeans out too far and uh, split his jeans but um, the legs do come up uh, quite a far distance forward he does have double jointed knees like so so you can probably get him in a, a pretty decent uh, running pose as well so uh, running all night uh, he looks pretty good running so overall you can uh, get the base body into some pretty uh, decent poses I'm terrible at posing as uh, you probably all know um, so I'm um, getting him into a decent uh, sort of realistic uh, pose uh, will be a challenge for me <laughs> but I'll uh, I'll definitely give it a go and uh, post up some photos on the uh, the Facebook page and the website so I'll stay tuned for that but um, that is pretty much it for um, Liam Neeson um, from Run All Night um, if, you're, if you're looking for a fairly cheap figure at $115 um, and you're a fan of Liam Neeson or the movie I would definitely um, recommend clicking on that and heading over to check out the uh, the Toys Power website. Um, I think they've teased their next figure coming up, which I think is going to be a huge release. It's the uh, officially licensed Michael Jackson from, uh, I can't remember which tour it was, if it was in London or the US somewhere, um, but um, it's from one of his most iconic um, uh, concert series. So, um, uh, And that figure does look pretty damn fantastic. The, the head sculpt there looks... Uh, pretty spot on so I'm um, uh, I guess uh, they're uh, starting to, to ramp things up over at Toys Power so I'm um, hopefully uh, they can uh, do a great job of that one and uh, stick around uh, with all the competition out there so um that's pretty much it hopefully uh, you guys like that quick look come um, and cl can click that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for all the upcoming reviews I've got uh, coming up soon so um thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon cheers bye